Hi, right, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time tuning in, welcome. In this video, I'm going to see if we can power up some lights with this new Octo board that we got from Quinn LED. This is the Digi Octo board. On the 16 output high current power board. Here's the power board QR. That's the bottom part that all the power goes into. <coughs> Excuse me. And then here's the Digi Octa, the brain board. It's got the ESP32. It's got um, Ethernet input. RJ45, I believe that's called. And then we're going to use this right just just for test testing. We're going to use the uh, the included antenna, and that guy just kind of kind of goes on right here. So I'll zoom you way in and see if maybe uh, I could do this the first time. Usually the little click means it's on. All right, so here's the antenna. Just kind of lay it over to the side for right now. And uh, what we'll do is, I've got this little Christmas tree right here that uh, you know, I sit on or whatnot. And uh, that's what we'll be trying to light up today. Bring it up a little bit closer. I use X Connect. There's a couple different styles of X Connect. Just because it says X Connect doesn't mean it's X Connect. The X Connect that I use has the this is the output coming out of your controller. It's got the twisty thing. And the female with the actual female pins. Now I've gotten these, I've ordered them with, with this end that spins like this, and then it's got male pins in there. That's not the one that we want to use. We want to use the ones that that the male part has the male ends and then the female, right? That way it goes in correctly. So I'll just wire this up real quick. This is not rocket science in any means at all. Um, we're gonna put it in number one data, which is right here. It just slides in and um, just tighten down with your little mini, that's, that's that. And then we have, um, Power's on the left, ground's on the right. We just stick those in there. All right, just give them a quick little rundown. It's so easy to do. This, this is such an easy system. And that's it. Okay, now let's take this board here. We'll go ahead and uh, see if I can zoom out a little bit so we can see. Not the laundry on the floor, obviously. Let's see if we can see these. Uh, see if we can see these lights a little bit better here. If I move my move the kit sucks. Just kind of throw those into the washing machine. Since obviously somebody else didn't put them in there. All right, let's get some power on here. We'll screw this guy in first, and then we'll see what we got. Now I know Quindor's favorite color must be orange because all of his boards, when they first light, they light orange if the board is configured correctly for the lights that you run. Now I'm not running strips, which is uh, RGB. I believe these are BRG, but we'll figure it out. Depends on what color they come up when I connect these leads up. So in the interest of safety, we hook up the ground first. Follow by the power. You're gonna get a little bit of spark because you're energizing these these, these uh, capacitors and stuff. But here's our board to life. You can see our lights lit up, but we are green. Okay, so let's take, and we're dim too. Green and not very bright. All right, so let's see if we can fix that real quick. Let's 
see what uh, every house is going to be different so do not take my parameters we have to first go down and we have to connect to that which is WLED you guys can see it right there to the right of your screen and then I'm going to click connect and it's going to for mine it should connect pretty fast because we um, we use this all the time if it doesn't look like it did I will open up a there we go so we are in so we want to type in 4.3.2.1 and here comes our WLED and what we want to do is we want to I'm just going to first connect it to Wi-Fi so I can use my tablet okay so all my stuff's already saved in so I'm just going to name this um, Octo okay I'm just going to name it Octo real quick um, it's an ESP32 type disable the live fly sleep I'm going to save and connect to it now it's no longer loginable until I go over to here it should be logged in so I should see down here number 48 is WLED and we are in it <clears throat> okay so I'm going to move you around to the tablet here in just a second. I have to configure the WLED on my tablet to what that is. So stand by. This will be all inclusive. Alright. So we got our green lights. There's a WLED. We'll add a light. I'll just do this real quick. 192.168.1.48. We're just going to call this the Octo. Okay. That's it. Now, if we go into it. All right. Here we are. We're into it now. I'll turn off the lights and just show you that I can turn the vault the brightness up right here or down obviously see I just selected the green and it went to red so blue is blue red is green okay so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go into the configuration right here right Oh, my tablet looks filthy from this angle. Go in config. LED preferences. We want to change it from 5 volts, right, to the 12 volts, 30 milliamps. Turn off the brightness limiter. Um, we want to... We got, so the first, we want to say that the first string has, we'll just say 100, and we just want to see, first off, before we even do the colors, if the rest of the tree lights up, we're going to hit go, and look, there they go, already set up, now let's see if we can change it so it's the right color, because this is a GRB. And I think these are RGB lights. So I will connect to the RGB, hit save. My lights already changed. All right, now let's see what they're supposed to be at. That is red, there's green, 
there's blue. Um, and so now I can do all kinds of things with it now. Um, and that's how easy it is. Here's a, here's color twinkles. That gives you a bunch of different colors. I'm a big fan of the gradient. So I will, uh, normally do a, a two color gradient. Um, I, I love purple and orange, so I will usually pick a purple and then an orange, and then I'll use the color gradient that's on here. Okay. And then I go to effects. We just go down to a gradient and then watch what it does. It's just, I love that. And there it is. That's a quick, fast, down and dirty, Quinn LED, and L -E W LED working together. Now to get this to work with X lights to include into your show, you just type in that 48 address into the program. I'll be another video I'll do if you guys want me to. And then I'll show you how it all works in real time. But for now, thanks Quinn for your amazing products and the, the power board. I know this is just nothing, um, but it gets to show us a little, uh, just a little, oh, and now they can get it right. I can turn the, I can turn the brightness up and you can really kind of see what the, what this will do. That's just a little, a little Christmas tree. That's, that's nothing. This is the bench that I, this is the chair that I sit on. <sighs> Excuse my laundry. I'm a regular person like everyone else, but this is just play with. So if you like this video, like, and subscribe, subscribe. If you want more content, that is, um, like this video. If you like this video, if you don't like this video, you can give me a thumbs down if you want. I would rather you give me a comment, though. Let me know what I did wrong. But until then, thank you guys for watching this video. You have a blessed day. And uh, keep it lit.